Gobi Desert lies to the north of the Himalayan mountains, which block moist Indian Ocean air, forming a massive rain shadow. As a result, this is one of the driest regions on Earth and the world's fifth largest desert. Alarmingly, the Gobi is expanding. Every year, 3,600 square kilometers of grassland is lost, mostly due to deforestation, overgrazing, and depletion of water resources. This place is so desiccated, and dry, and remote, and dead that we might as well be on Mars. Of course, as Murphy's Law would have it, as soon as I made that observation to the camera, clouds gathered and we started to get rained on. Area. breaks would normally be a miraculous experience for local flora, but that afternoon there was no shortage of water whatsoever. We've been getting so much rain today, it's totally um, impossible to think of this place as a desert. You know? For fuck's sake, desert, no water, everything is soaked and we've been getting stuck in mud big time. Uh, wow, Just, this place is blowing my mind, I have no idea what to expect every single day. And I'm fucking freezing right now too, it's another interesting thing. We're really happy about being in a Russian-made car because we're not getting stuck in the mud like the Germans, so here's for Moscow! Moscow, Moscow, la 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 Not exactly from Moscow, but rather from Ulyanovsk, some 900 kilometers away from the capital, the UAZ-452, or simply WAZ, is named after the abbreviated form of the manufacturer, Ulyanovsky Automobilny Zavod, meaning Ulyanovsk Automobile Plant. Manufactured since 1965, the loaf-shaped four-wheel drive vehicle is often called Bukanka, which means loaf of bread in Russian, and much like bread, it is indispensable in this part of the world. Designed to take a licking but keep on ticking, the WAS can handle both extreme weather as well as least friendly terrain. Not built for looks, but rather for functionality, it regularly outdoes Land Rovers and other Western brands which are mostly intended for Western suburb and demographic groups commonly referred to as pussies. Yeah! I see some porn movies! <laughs> The sloppy, bumpy journey continued, punctuated by our shenanigans, which included mooning the other van and otherwise being retarded. After a few hours, we arrived at a dirt camp near Bayanzag, or the Flaming Cliffs, which we would explore the next day. The evening was to be spent in the camp, loaded with fun, monkey time style. Okay, guys, how's the dinner? Fan freaking test it. Excellent. Helen, what's for dinner tonight? Looks like we've got some mutton, just some veggies, and some pasta. And what's this big bag of country band you got going here? <laughs> this is magic Xinjiang flavor cumin. Spoonful of cumin, <laughs> and a bucket of this, and just sprinkle all this stuff in. And, uh, mother of balls, that's what she... <laughs> okay. Mother of balls, is that what he just said? Yeah. Mm. The food is fucking awesome, but that spice just tops it off it's big time. It's magical. It mm. is really, really good. Mm. Having a really good time on this trip. Eric, what do you think? Yeah, it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really good. Eric likes the surprise questions. <laughs> <laughs> These girls are essentially wooden tents insulated with wool and uh, as low-tech as they seem they're actually doing a spectacular job of keeping us warm. Uh, last night was quite chilly outside, tonight it's pretty comfortable, well, last night was really really freezing cold out there and you just don't feel it, it's completely completely uh, incubated, you feel like you're in a little womb here. So over the thousands of years these guys really figured it out, they know how to keep themselves warm, nicely done. <laughs> yeah, that's good. 
before you go, go. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> are you wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, good night. night. Everybody dance now. Da 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 da. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Let me put my stuff away. Really. It would be funny. Okay. Okay. And everybody, good night. Uh, it is freaking freezing. It's all hats, fleeces, and gloves. And uh, it doesn't matter because the views are beautiful. You can see for pretty much hundreds of kilometers away from here. Even though the sky is overcast, it is. Uh, the air is so clear. It is beautiful, stunning. Check it out. <laughs> This area is most famous for yielding the first discovery of dinosaur eggs as well as several specimens of Velociraptor. Holy crap, it's beautiful! The Flaming Cliffs got their name from the rock which gives off a glowing orange color, especially in early morning. This is a stunning sight, and even if you're not interested in poking around for dinosaur bones, which you are more likely to find at the Natural History Museum in Lanbatter anyway, this place is well beyond magical. Century girl. Come on, come on, come on, Pookie. Hello, look at your ears. Well, it isn't Hello, hello. Spending a lot of time on filming, but not wanting the dirty window to get in the way, I stuck the camera outside to get a better shot. Bad idea after rain. Ah! <laughs> oh, didn't get it, didn't get it. <laughs> Before lunch, we made it into the town of Dalanzagad. With a population of 14,000, we suddenly felt like we were dropped in the middle of Times Square. Okay, this is not quite Manhattan, but being back in civilization was a bit of a change. <laughs> Hello! Hello, welcome Hello. to the city!
This time capsule of a restaurant, straight out of the 1980s, was odd, but still clean enough to make us feel like dirt squirrels, though happy about the prospects of lunch. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Rice, also some peppers and meat, and next one is uh, noodles. <laughs> this Mongolian traditional food, we call it uh, Tawang, which is very great food. Uh, mutton and noodles. Tawang. Tawang. So this is what everyone eats in Mongolia? Yeah. Except me. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're a freaky <laughs> vegan, then you don't eat that. You just look at people eating you that. You get a tomato. <laughs> 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 After lunch, we had some personal time to dig around and explore. And now we're looking for internet! Once everyone updated their Facebook profiles at this reasonably modern net cafe, Alexia decided to decorate the van a bit. That's better. And Solo expanded our tape collection. Yep. Hey, Mr. DJ, let's have some music. DJ. Yeah, I bought just two tapes, which is Trans Hits 2010. Ooh, what a sexy one. Justin Webb paper. Super, just go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, party, party. Woo! Yeah, party! <laughs> no party! <laughs> you look leaner! <laughs> you did that just to feel my bottom, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Spontaneously, I ended up taking part in some sort of a road race, but I soon conked out and gave up. In order to prevent the Waz from following the same fate, we stopped at a petrol station and filled her up. Next time on Mongolia Girls Gone Wild, we find out that on a multi-day expedition things will not always go as planned. Learn about Aussie divining methods. Discover that Mongolia in some places is much more pointy than you would think. And that it is always good to have strong friends. <laughs>